Do you, you have know? people in your life that can tell you, like, yo, Lefty, you bugging out? Like, you, you tripping? I don't. That's why I need a girl. Like I said, you can't force it. That's true. And you know, I, I don't want a bitch just with me because I'm rich. You know what I'm saying? Where, bitch, where was that when I was broke? Mm. And I was getting bitches when I was broke. Right now, I'm on another level. I'm really rich. Maybe you should go to the library. I do go to the library. What you be reading? My DMs. <laughs> From bitches in paragraphs. <laughs> yo, 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 it's your boy Hakeem, and this interview is sponsored by Prize Picks. And Prize Picks is a skill based, real money, daily fantasy sports game. You can pick up to two to six players, and if they will go more or less than their prize pick projection, you can win up to 100 times your money on any entry. In prize picks, you aren't competing against other people. It's just you versus the projections. Available instead of battling thousands of other players, including pros and sharks. Come on. Prize pick entries can be made in 60 seconds or less. It's that easy. Prize picks offers frequent discounts, bonuses, and other exciting offers. Players can choose from a vast selection of sports, stat types, not offered anywhere else. They can even pick in-game projections after a game has started, which includes halves, quarters, periods, and more. Go to Prize Picks and use code OGM for the first deposit match up to $100. Now, if you're not hearing me, that's go to Prize Picks and use code OGM for the first deposit match up to $100. Go to Prize Picks. Let's get the game started. Yo, 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 it's your boy Hakeem, and you are watching Our Generation Music. And today, man, I got one of the hottest artists in LA, Lefty Gunplay. Yeah, man, famous gang, man, I've been amazing. Man. We're out here tapping in. I heard this interview's a big uh, podcast, so uh, Solar told me we gotta get, it, get over here and get it done, and uh, they embraced me. And this off the record, yeah, we got, we got a video coming tonight right here. Big ass pool party with Rafi the Plug. Yeah. Um, that's that's fast forwarding, but I no, 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 no. I love that because you know, I'm literally, forget. as soon as we got here, we're just joking around, talking about random shit, and you're like, "Yo, let me play you the song I did with Ralphie." You play me the song, you go see the backyard. Lefty's like, "Shit, let's shoot a fucking video tonight," and we're like, "Fuck it." So we're gonna get to see a Lefty the Gunplay video that comes out. Get you done. Party. Get you done. See opportunity and take it. Hundred percent. So are you like that on the fly, just like with work and shit? Yeah, if I have an idea on the spot, like like I just did, let's do it because I'm going to forget later. So when it's in my head, that's why I really need to get an assistant. Mm. An assistant, I'll pay it. But Soli said it can't be an assistant if it's a girl because mm -hmm. I'm a fucker if it's a girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's got to be a man, but if it's a man, you're marking him out. He feels pressured out like, hey, write that shit down, you know? Mm -hmm. Like with a lot of shit. So, but no. Nah, me and Solo's been doing it on our own, winging it on our own, just yeah. splitting this bag. And why get an assistant? Why get a manager and all that when, you know, the CEO and the artist, we, we bang it. But I'm a lot to handle with. Yeah. I'm a lot to deal with. But it's worth it. No, you know I feel I feel like your life is going to get to the point where you need an assistant. My life, sure. Yeah, my life changed already, man. I already know. But one thing you did say, which I thought was dope, because, you know, you said, oh, let me handle this now before I forget it. Because you got on the phone with Ralphie and was like, yo. Yeah. Come over, come over here. Let's get this video. Like you was like, nah, I gotta focus okay. on getting this done right now. Then we can move on. I'm glad you pointed that out, and it made me think about myself. Like, damn, I really did that. Like, when I'm serious, I'm serious. When I'm working, I'm working. Like, I had the idea call Ralphie, pull my call Ralphie, we mm. made it happen. Got it done. Like, oh, get the girls. Uh, 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 let's nope. get the interview. And if now. I wasn't here, nobody would have said that. Nobody would have said, okay, let me shoot a video here with, with Ralphie. Mm -hmm. Nah, I seen that. Shit. I shoot a video here with Ralphie. I seen it in my head already. As soon as I seen it. Um, so Lefty, one of the hottest artists in LA bubbling right now. The hottest artist. Correction. The hottest artist in best LA. Best SA rapper. I wanna say best rapper all around. There's some blacks that are pretty good, but best Latino rapper in LA. Lefty Dude, gunplay. I've been running it up. I've been lazy lady, but I've been running it up. Why what do you mean you've been lazy? Talk about, you know, you just being lazy. It's good that you've been able to it's, acknowledge it's, this that. This is what too. it is. Certain rappers, they reach a certain level of success mm -hmm. to where they think that they're cool. And Solis told me that, like, you want to be Kobe Bryant mm -hmm. or you want to be Smush Parker? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. You, you, you're on the Lakers. 
but do you want to be Kobe? Yeah, I'm rookie of the year. Mm-hmm. But now I'm 80 here. Now I'm a pro 106, 92.3. I got a couple songs with a million views. I'm here. Yeah. Now we in the big leagues. Now I'm going against these other fools. What am I going to do with it? I want to be better than Drake. Yeah. I want to be better than OGZ, oh, who's great. I want to be up there with, with them, you know? And I'm going to be up there with them. By the end of the year, I'm going to have a mansion. I'm going to be up there. But I've been lazy lately mm -hmm. with all this money, whipping my Maybach, fucking bitches with this jewelry. How many bitches you fucked in the Maybach already? Man. One. Just one? Yeah. One lucky lady. Shout out to Nikki Unique from the holidays. <laughs> I fucked that bitch. <laughs> I had a busting back there. You did? Hell yeah. And the homie sat back there and said, that bitch busted a big ass nut back there. <laughs> that bitch be squirting. I'm a gang. Yeah, yeah, I got to get it in. So you had to go get the car detailed after? I left it. Damn. I'm sitting, I'm a loke. I'm a loke, not a joke, baby. Is that part of like the car set too? Like I didn't go get a detail, but I should get a detail. Fuck that bitch. Now she's she for everybody, you know what I'm saying? Now she, you're fucking up. <laughs> she fucking it up. No, she's Stupid good. Stupid ass. Um, so yeah. Ooh, Bob. <laughs> Edit that. Tell her chill out. Man. Damn, man. But you saw this is mad at you. <laughs> you better edit that. Leave it, leave it, leave it. That's my best friend for five years. Wow. Four years. So she's seen you before the come up. She's seen me rapping. She seen me like, you got it, fool. You got it. You got it in you. Mm -hmm. You got it in you. Like right now, like, she's been popping. Mm hmm. Ashley Gates, she's from South Gay, but I've been rapping and uh, I'm trying to see her up too. You know what I'm saying? She getting her body done next week. You gonna she, pay for it? She paying for it. Oh. She about to get that. I ain't taking care of her though. Would you ever, you ever pay been for it? You ever been? If she want titties, I'll pay for them. You pay for some titties, Lefty? I'll pay for some titties. Not the BBL too? I'll pay for my baby mama's titties. Are you dead? Yeah. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> I'll pay for her titties though. You know, you know what I always think is crazy though? But I pay for you know what? I don't want a baby mama where they say that. Damn man, that's like this baby mama like she ugly like. I don't be I don't be I don't be with all these highlands like that no more. OTR taught me that you cannot be so accessible to every female. Yeah. You're famous now. You're famous. You gotta keep some separation. For it's sure. hard. And females are a distraction. Mm -hmm. But if I had that one girl that it's hard to find love. You know love when you feel it and you keep it. Yeah. To whoever's been in love, you can't force love. You can't. Even if it's with the baddest bitch, you don't love her and she don't love you. Like, you know what I'm saying? But when you're in love, mm -hmm. it's beautiful, dog. You go to endless boundaries for that girl. She's going to clean your house. Yeah. Suck your dick. Fuck you. Stay loyal to you. Cry for you. Hurt when you're hurting. Through the good and the bad. Yeah. Through trials and tribulations. And if you fuck it off, she gone. Once you can tell them, you'll never get her again. Is, is, have you ever had someone like that? Where Chrissy Nena, I've been looking for her ass, man. Yeah, I had a couple girls like that. Been, I've been in love probably like four times. Four times? I love my baby mamas, but one of them's already pregnant by another dude. The other one is just like, I love her, but it's not there. But I don't want to see her with nobody else. You know that, sounds, that sounds like a toxic type of trait, right? Like, that's my bitch <laughs> type of shit. And then I don't like it because she has lefty, lefty, lefty. And she's fucking other dudes. So it's like, what? And fools just want to fuck her. She bad, but they be, oh, I fuck lefty, baby mama. I hate that. That is lame. Like, dog, I don't even care about that bitch. Like, who cares if you fucked her? So I'll be looking for the cousins, sisters, but... Yeah, when you got a baby mama, it's a big responsibility because that's your name. Yeah. Two, that's your baby mama. And now I'm famous and I'm starting to feel it. Oh, yeah, I fucked Lefty's baby mama. Like, that, that's a little, yeah. a little, they're getting their little clout, their little fame off it, you know? Mm -hmm. Fuck you, yeah, fuck that bitch. So, so does, has that whole situation now, like, you know, made you better about choosing, like, what type of girls to get? Hell no. Nah. So you just still just gonna keep doing the same shit? I'll be nutty new shit. <laughs> <laughs> no Straight pull up. Out. So this beginning now, he'd be like, man, you can't do that. Like, no pull I do. out? Nah, if I like her, you know, in that moment when you first meet a girl, mm -hmm. it's there. But once you nut, that shit gone. <laughs> like, man, I gotta go work, solely tripping, I gotta go to the studio, I gotta go with Char, but 
Before I nutted, I loved her and I wanted to marry her. Mm -hmm. I wanted to marry her, you know what I'm saying? But after I nut, I get over it. Shut up, fool. You kidding the interview twice already. Damn, dog. But back to you saying after you nut now, pause. Man, I already lost my vibe. Next question. Um, Damn. Shut up, fool. Fool Bob her. Damn. On the hood, you killed the interview. Nah, so interview still still over, Edit that part. Now you're going to They're mad at you. You're walking through the camera. That's the camera. You're walking through it, everything. We, we, we're good. Let's, um, we're good. We can edit. Let her learn. But honestly, between me and you and him, I hate to tell her, she my best friend. She killed it. She fucked it up a lot. Now we're talking about bullshit for no reason. Professional. We keep it professional. Yeah. But we ghetto. She's ghetto, I'm ghetto. I got to tell her, she's doing it. Just sit your ass, chill. At the same time, I want her to see it because she's my best friend. Mm -hmm. I want to be a part of my success. Yeah. And watch it. Enjoy the moment. Mm -hmm. Fuck your homegirls calling you. Fuck the phone ringing. And look, she's all mad now. Look, you know what I'm saying? Enjoy. Somebody told me that. They told me, enjoy the moment. Yeah. You got to enjoy the moment. And that's one thing about me. Like, with this rap shit, it's moving so fast. It's like, I don't sit there. So the other day, I went in my Maybach. I went to Santa Monica. And I put my feet in the sand. Mm -hmm. No phone. Nothing. No bitches. Me by myself. I put my hoodie on and put, take my shoes off, put my feet in the sand. Just like by myself, looking at it, just remember who I am. Yeah. Trying to find myself again. Like with all this fame and everything, like enjoying the moment. Yeah, living in that. Like, what is this? You know? What, what was like the best thought that I'm you really had? I'm really famous. I'm really, really famous. If I walk in LA, I guarantee you, we could do a vlog. I'll get 30 pics within the first 30 minutes. Hmm. Maybe the first hour, I'll get 30 pictures. I won't say shit. I'll get 30 pictures, huh? In LA, in an hour, I'll get 30 pictures. I'll bet you money on that. Everybody's talking in the car. Lefty, 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 lefty. I like that shit. But at the same time, you gotta get away from that shit right now. That's all I ever wanted. Mm -hmm. So does the tummy. You really want this? I want this. I'm living my fucking dream. Yeah. Everybody tries to rap mm -hmm. and be where I'm at. I'm right there batting, playing ball with, with Ralphie the Plug, mm -hmm. with OGZ. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting comparisons to Draco the way my shit is Eminem. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just, I'm relevant. Yeah. I'm hot. When LA loves you, they love you. And it's hard for LA to love you. Yeah. I don't know the remedy. So what do you think why it worked for you? If you Authenticity. Had to, just you being yourself. My story. Mm. OTR. OTR. Solis got the recipe for essays. He got the recipe for the Latinos. Solis knows how to make a Latino superstar mm -hmm. if he sees it in him. So many people hit up Solis every day because everybody wants to know what the fuck OTR did with Chito Ranas mm -hmm. and Lefty Gunplay. Chito hot. Chito got a million views on everything. Lefty Gunplay, I got million views on everything. Yeah. It's coming, million views on everything. Interviews and podcasts. You know what I'm saying? So, but it was because of him. Yeah. It was because of me. It would have happened. Maybe one minute. Nah, he stays on my ass. That's the mastermind back there. Solis is a sick man. Yeah. OTR, we running this shit up. Look at the back of my head. See? I see, I see. When'd you get that? OTR records. When did you get that? Like three weeks ago on phone. Is that is there a tattoo on your body you regret? I love all my tattoos. I never take one off. And even my baby mama's names, I leave them. Mm. Everything was a part of my life. And it's just a part of my life. You know what I'm saying? It's a story. I'm not Latino, you know, I'm an essay like. Just my life is crazy, man. Like I just went in a million the shit that I'm doing right now. Yeah. I I, I started realizing my self-worth. And seen it, and I'm uniting the blacks and the homies. Mm -hmm. The first essay rapper on Power 106 is Little Rob. You can say what you want to say. I get high, so what? Gives a fuck. That's all they could get on me mm -hmm. is that I get high. The internet, they just look for anything to find. I'm the first essay on Power 106 since Little Rob. And it's a big difference. I'm LA, I'm still the youth. 
I'm still from LA. I'm still all LA County Jews. Mm-hmm. People try to. I'm from the San Diego Valley. That's LA County. I'm LA and I'm Latino. The Latinos love me. Yeah. And I hope I break the barrier and I open the door for more Latino rappers and all that. You know what I'm saying? And all my favorite rappers, they are black. Because black started this rap. But I don't say the N word. Mm-hmm. Every now and then, from being around that so much, it'll slip out. Mm-hmm. Hmm? But like I'm saying, I don't talk like that. Mm. I don't talk like that ever on the interview. But it's just like people want to see my downfall so much. They just try to find anything. But as long as I stay solid, yeah. the truth always prevails in the end. I don't give a fuck what they say. I'm a millionaire. I got a Maybach. Mm-hmm. I know my estimated net worth. I'm with every label. I don't let it get to me. I don't. Constructive criticism, but man, there's a lot of haters. But there's more positivity the negativity, and I'm gonna keep doing me. I'm gonna keep running it up. And guess what I'm gonna do next year? Wow. I'm gonna make another million. I'm gonna make another million. I'm gonna make another million. Yeah. I'm gonna make another fucking million. Yeah. By the end of the year, we're gonna look at this year and be like, damn, we had him. I'm gonna make another fucking million. And I promise that I'm hungry for this shit. It's all I ever wanted because too much at once. Yeah. Fuck if it's too much. I should be putting in more work. What am I caring about now? Yeah. It's all I ever wanted. People think they're going to be a rapper. I'm a rapper. I'm a, it don't work that way. It does not. It's hard. You, you know what you said earlier? You said um, that, you know, you mentioned Drake, OGZ, and then even before the camera started, you mentioned, you know, you not wanting to sign and you wanted to go the way like Nipsey Hussle did. Yes, I did. Talk about, you know, Nipsey Hussle inspiring, you know, your decision to stay independent and make your money. There's a big difference between uh, me and Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle's Nip. Mm-hmm. His mentality was just, he's a brainiac, just sick. Mm-hmm. My mentality is way different. So I imitated off of him. Our mentalities are the same because we both gangbang. Mm-hmm. We're both from LA. We both doing this rap shit. We're doing, we're the same, but we're not. He's a little bit more mature, more and more positive. But the way that he did it, and he stayed independent, mm-hmm. and he made the marathon and all money in, he did that. That's what I'm doing right now. I own 100% rights of all my music. So at the end of the day, my kids are gonna see money off of this. Yeah. My family's gonna see, Solis' kids are gonna see money off of this. Instead of me signing for half a million on a million dollars, spending the million dollars at a motherfucking, uh, at a motherfucking strip club, I spend a million dollars at a strip club, and then after that, the money's gone. Yeah. And the people own the music. But I did sign. I'd be lying if I said I did it. Yeah, get that right there. You got me? Big dog, get that right there. Take it out of there. Nah, it's, yeah, it's it was bothering me. Oh, yeah. Hey, no, but look, at the end of the day, I did sign. I signed with Alamo Records. Mm. So I signed with Alamo Records. So Alamo Records is O3 Greedo's label. Yeah. Oh, Rob Wade's label. Shout, Shout out, out to Todd. Lee. Shout out to Lee, man. Lee, Sony Entertainment, all that. He gave me a bag. Mm-hmm. These good friends were so listening to him. So I wouldn't sign, because he's saying I'm bringing myself. And all the labels said, you got the best deal you could have got. So with this counteract, I could have signed. I could have went with Interscope. I could have went with Columbia, Warner Brothers, 300 Entertainment, um, Capitol Records, Orlando Wurtenberg, Jeff Vaughn, mm. Johnny Shipes. I know all these people. They know me. I met them. I ate with them. I know millionaires, billionaires. And at the time, I didn't want to sign. Because the people have such this vision in their mind that mainstream, 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 mainstream. Fuck mainstream. That's just bullshit. Yeah. Own your, own your shit if you can stay down that long enough. I wanted to sign from inner school from the gate, but the deal started getting higher. Mm-hmm. Mm. Another 100,000, another 100,000, another 100,000, another 100,000. Then I'll do some bullshit, some gangbang shit. Now it drops to 100,000. Now it drops to 100,000. So, now it so, goes up 100,000. So, so. I'm a liability. Yeah. I'm a liability. I'm a gangbanger. I'm an SA. I, I, I'm pro. I'm a liability. But Solis took his risk on me. Yeah. Solis is the one putting all his money behind me because he believes in me. And that's good he believes in me. Because in the long shot, he's going to win for believing in me. Yeah. In the ghetto super. I'm a superstar. I really am. I, it's diamonds, you know, pressure makes diamonds. And that's what he's doing. That diamond is almost shiny. Mm-hmm. 
Please. Well, with you, you know, knowing that, like, okay, I am a liability because, you know, ghetto superstar and gang. I don't want to sign with somebody that thinks that. With, as Acon you should too. Poe's brother, Akon and Ball, I should sign with them, too. As you shouldn't. I am too much. But it, with that thought, do you, do you, you know, take that thought into consideration that you want to maybe change some of your ways? You can't ways? beat it out of me. You can't. You can't. My homies will boob me. I'm lefty. I can't get right. That's my name. ADHD since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, a, I'm fucked up in the head. And it is me. You got to love it. You either hate it or love it. And a lot of people love it. Mm -hmm. That's what makes me me. If I change it, would it be lefty gunplay? People wouldn't want to see it. It is what it is. You, you don't know what you're going to get in the interview. Mm -hmm. This is real. This me just chomping it up with you. I practice for no interview. I come over here and knock it out, and that's it. And they love that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm an essay. I love that. I love being Mexican. I'll never let nobody write my lyrics. I'll never let nobody, you know, write my hook. I'll never let nobody tell me not to say, fuck Northerners. I don't want to do a song with them or stuff like that. You just do what you want. I do what I want. I do what I what's right mm -hmm. in my heart, in my gut. At times I'm wrong, but you know what? I deal with the consequences. Do you and have I, people in your life that can tell you like, yo, Lefty, you bugging out, like you, you tripping? I don't, that's why I need a girl. Like I said, you can't force it. That's true. And you know, I, I don't want a bitch just with me because I'm rich. You know what I'm saying? Where, bitch, where was that when I was broke? Mm. And I was getting bitches when I was broke, but right now I'm on another level. I'm really rich. Maybe you should go to the library. I do go to the library. Up. What'd you be reading? My DMs. <laughs> <laughs> From bitches in paragraphs. <laughs> Yo. In paragraphs. They be sending me love books. Love books? Oh, man. What, are you, what is your reaction when you see them love books? I'll read them. Leave yeah. them on scene. Damn, Lefty, you got to like some of them. Nah, some of them are blowing up and they don't write me back. <laughs> oh, some of you be like, hell yeah, bitch, like, get over here right now. You know what? Part of being so, like, popping is, like, the bitches immediately count you out. You can have any bitch you want. Mm. Fuck you want me for. You know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, I really want to slow down. It's like, but then you look a little too crazy when you're going so, bitch, I'll marry you. Mm -hmm. From the DM. That's called love bombing. You know about love bombing? I ain't gonna tell me, like, I be love bombing the fuck out of me. <laughs> What's love bombing? That, like, if Teach you meet a bitch, if you meet a bitch right away, right, and you just like, I love you. But uh, that's what you want at the time, and you're serious about well, it. Well, I just learned about this shit, like, it's yeah. Hard. So let me explain love bombing to you. Go and play. So yeah. Love bombing. Yeah, so I had a bitch like two years ago, and she taught me what love bombing was, because basically you just kind of like, like, you. Were you with her? Yeah, yeah, I was with her. But like, you so come you love on. her? Yeah, like, you come on super strong. Like, she I love you. She gave you that game, though. Huh? She gave you game. Well, she was just trying to like, This you know. game used to be so not told to the camera on. Love bombing. <laughs> I never knew about that love bombing. I be love bombing hoes all day. You see the picture? You see them, they write you back. You're like, man, I'll marry you. Right but off But I'm right. serious, though. I'm not playing. I'm serious. So, but, but you don't think it is what it is. But you just love them off a picture. Mm. And I do in that. Why is it not possible? Because if they would say yes, but they got to put the effort in. So what do you, besides, besides like, you Tell know, me, tell physical, me, explain to me love on me. So like basically, you know, you meet a girl right off rip. Boom, I love you. I want to marry you. You're the only girl I'm trying to be with. Uh, move in. You sound like me. You sound like me. <laughs> you sound like me. Move in tonight. You're like, yo, don't leave me. Like just dropping all your fucking problems on them, right? And then you're kidding me for yourself. And then you still fucking other bitches so, while now. No, but you kill it for yourself by doing that. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta like, you know, inch in, man. No, but I say it at the same time too. Like, I don't do that to every hoe. Like, I do it to probably maybe. I got a roster, probably like a five that I really see it there with. Mm -hmm. And it's not about personality; it's about looks. I want that bitch. You know what I'm saying? I want that the finest high now. Because mm. I'm the best essay rapper. I'm the best. I'm not bad looking. Model, I'm tatted up. I'm an ass. I'm hood with it. And I'm rich. Yeah. And I got a maid back in the, you know, my own. You gotta spot. have a bitch to compliment that. Like how? What? Look at And a maid back in a two bedroom apartment downtown LA. My estimate, if I'm broke right now, I'll go to two, two, three features right now for a thousand, two thousand each. I'll come up with six thousand. If I was really down bad like that, 
my YouTube account sitting ten thousand. So not only you got, he's hood with it. Mm. He gang bangs. He an essay. He fine. Okay, cool. He got his own car. He got a Maybach, two bedroom apartment. He's single. He tall. Tatted up. What? <laughs> Run that. <laughs> it's like. Bitch, what more do you want? Nah, I got what it all. You know, my nigga said, I check out all the boxes, bitch. All the boxes, yeah. And I'm, if she's with me, if I got it, she got it. Mm. But I'm, wait, 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 do you believe, but do you believe in a 50-50 relationship? Or you got to pay for everything? I ain't signing no prenup. I got to sign a prenup. What is it, girl? They told me the other day. I was going to get married to a bitch the other day. You was about to get married to a bitch the other day? Yeah, told me that, yeah. What, you went to Vegas or something? We was about to. And then I nutted. <laughs> on the game. I was about to. I was feeling it, man. You was about to do the drive, like the three hour, or are you going to take a flight? At that time, yeah. I'm in the moment. I don't think about You are a love bomber, my G. You know it what, is though? what it is, though. But man. you know what, though? I can't waste that time because my whole life, by me liking it, I end up in jail. So mm. that just is just in. It fucked me up. So I think I'm on a timeline. Yeah. Before I go to jail, you know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta get as much in as I can. Cause when you're in jail, you're just sitting there thinking about, damn, I should have fucked that bitch. Damn, what? I should have treated her right. Damn, what's up with that bitch? I wonder what she's doing. It's a number. So in my mind out here, I'm just running it up, enjoying the moment. Mm. But I feel like I'm just, fuck bitches. At the end of the day, they're distraction. They really are. And a lot of these females are grimy, and they're they're for everybody. Yeah. It's free game. If my bitch wants to fuck you, then she can fuck you. That was never my bitch. You know what I'm saying? Females are scandalous. It's bullshit when they say, when females are lagging it to reply, that's bullshit. And when you kick it with her, mm -hmm. and she's on her phone all day like this, like my homegirl right there, she's on her phone all day. She can't leave her phone, but you text her, and she's lagging, she ain't fucking with you. Mm. She's on her phone all day. You kicked it with her before. Bitch can't leave her phone down for mm. five minutes. So when you see a bitch just turn their phone on the over phone, when they lift? If I meet a bitch from the minute, I'm looking at the way she's on her phone. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And later on, I'll write her, and it'll take a long time for her to write me back. Bitch ain't fucking with me. And bitches are just waiting for you to treat them like shit because they got another fool in mind already. The next dude up. It's very hard to find that one girl that's faithful that ain't like that. I feel like you're gonna find that. These bitches what, be fucking everybody, man. I feel like I feel like it's it's on the top of your mind that this is what I'm looking for, and I feel like you're gonna attract it because manifestation was big for you. No, you, you know saying, what I hate? I hate these bitches that fuck with all the rappers. I hate that shit too. I hate it, dog. You fuck with me, Bree. You fuck with me, we break up, but you you fucking all the other rappers too. Show you in their DM, and I ain't a dirty Mac. Mm. Fuck them too. And nah, like, everyone, yeah, gal for gal, dog. She's but. bad though. I'm like, damn, she's so bad. And I end up blocking them. I told so so time I gotta block her fool. She's killing me by looking at her pictures. You know what I'm saying? I see her on the scroll on the screen. Mm -hmm. Ah, she's so bad. I gotta block her. What? Cause you know. But at the end of the day, they're distracted to me, mm. and I'm not writing as much music as I am. But I was getting girls before. But I like to fuck with the bitches who was with me when I was broke. Mm. Type of shit. Well, so, um, what was I gonna say? Um, so you said, you know, you're not writing as much music as you usually I'm are. gonna start. So how long has it been since you made a new song? Recently? Yeah. I got shit in the chamber. He just, we really, well, I'm on their label. They release it when they want. You know what I'm saying? My whole album I wrote in the years I was in prison, mm -hmm. it's done already, but, I got shit. I could write a song right now. Chilling with the homie, wearing Supreme. Yeah. Let the gun play from the zine. Yeah. Pretty boy, bling bling. Yeah. This ain't no two tone. I do my thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in the Maybag. Uh huh. Essay, bringing back that Dre track. Yeah. This West Coast, lay that. Yeah. Lay that ass out, and I bang that. Uh huh. See, but that's basic rap. That's a punchline. I'm freestyling on shit. You want to get into your feelings and lock yourself in a room with no phone and get emotional and just let it out on paper. Yeah. People can relate to it. And that's what, that's what real music is. So music is your therapy. Music keeps me home. 
music keeps me from gangbanging. But I'm a gangbanger first. Mm -hmm. Rapping comes second. It really does to me. I really gangbang. I'm really from a gang. And that hood shit runs deep. If the homies really want to trip, they'll come knock on the door and come trip. But as long as I'm doing everything right, it's cool. Mm. But there wouldn't be no lefty gunplay without the gang. Can't forget that. There wouldn't be no lefty gunplay without the pen. I'd be like the rest of these rappers. Cap. Capping. Lying. I kick it on some of them are hard. I'm not going to say no names. Some of them real, some of them are hard. But some are like, oh, you was lying, man. Mm. The song hit different when they're lying. And I'm ghetto. So I just remember being, I never had Spotify. I will listen to people when I was ghetto on SoundCloud. Mm. YouTube. Listen to the hood shit. The shit that gets no radio plays. So for me to go with Power 106 in mainstream, shout out Just Incredible. Shout, shout out, out some, my boy uh, Just Cruz. Incredible, man. Shout out to Cruz, man, and all them. Just, it's, uh, shout out to Solis for getting me on there. It's a, man, it's crazy. So in your future, like, are you dreaming about getting a Grammy? I already said it, yeah, I'm gonna get one. You gonna get a Grammy? I'm gonna get a Grammy and an SP. I got a movie coming out. You got a movie? I got a movie coming out with a Richard Cabral. Baby jokes. Okay. Richard Cabral from the Mayans. Yeah, what? he got a couple actors from the Mayans that are coming out in it. Oh, uh, Richard Cabral already met with Solis and me and my mom. He already wrote the script. Story about my life. That's great. Coming famous. We're gonna hope. What do you get. What do you feel like is it, gonna be the most important part in that movie for the story about your life? Like you want people. It's to just really like understand. a. It's like a. Everybody's story in the. What's it called? The low income class, for Latinos. Mm. East LA, San Gabriel Valley, type of vibe. All LA period. Have you seen End of Watch? Yes, one of my favorite movies. He's in it. He's the one that wrote it. The, the, guy, the Spanish dude? That's Baby Joe's the one with the AK with the Dodger jacket. Oh, okay. That's Richard Cabral and the watch. That's a good ass. When movie. he likes him up and he hugs him and kisses him, he's doing a good job. Yeah, that's Richard Cabral. So we're, we're trying to get a Sofia Vergara or a Jenny 69 and a Lefty Gunplay and RJ Chiparico. Hop out, said he's down. Lefty Gunplay, Drummer Boy's in it. Chito Rollins is in it. If you got a role for me, I'll be in it. Man, we locked that in, I saw this. We locked that in, man. I always wanted to act. Fuck when do we I'm start? When do we start filming? Man, we got acting class tomorrow with his coach. Act you got acting class. Do you see yourself like taking on a full career in acting? Yes. Too? Like, what is your me. dream role? Like, what would you want to play? In acting? Yeah. Just a life period. Just a dream role in acting. And the watch type scene. Um. You don't have like like a drama or like a scary movie or you don't want nothing like that. The Bachelor. The Bachelor? A love scene. A love scene. That'll be cool. Just a gangbang story for LA. It's real and people can relate to it. Mm -hmm. So Richard Cabral wrote the script, but it's my lingo. So it's, it feels so real. Yeah. And uh, yeah, hopefully Sofia Vergara sees this, everybody tags her and she's, I'm trying to get her to play my mom. Sheesh. She pay for it too. That'd be hard. Sofia Vergara. She just did Narcos. Mom. Yeah, so feel better. Not narcos. Um, I see it, man. I had a dream last night. I seen the film and he was getting so feel better. God was in it. Mm. Whatever's in my mind, God put it in my mind because that's my dream. That's not for me to tell anybody because they're not going to see it. But I guarantee you, by the end of the year, you're going to be like, damn, he did that. So feel better. God mm -hmm. is going to play my mom in this film and she's going to want to do it. Yeah. Probably get Becky G. Carol G, you know, people like that. Some A-list celebrities. That'd be hard. Fucking maybe even Dr. Dre to pull up the game. Sheesh, that'd be a movie. This literally. is gonna be the movie. This movie is it. It's like the Latino, it's about a kid gangbanging. His brother goes to jail, tries to be a rapper. He comes home, he becomes a superstar. His girlfriend becomes a, a, a cop growing oh, wow. up. Cuts him up, arrest him, let him go. Being a rap star in the hood, mom getting beat up. Domestic violence, drug use, jail time, LA County shit, being broke. It's gonna be it, man. Yeah. It's um, gonna be it, man. Watch. I'm excited to see that. And I'm gonna get a an role SP, there. SP and a Grammy. SP and a Grammy. It's for, I already got YouTube. You mean an Oscar? S got SP, Grammy, Oscar, Tony. Oh, you want all of it? Yeah. 
Stop playing with that, man. Let's I'm go. Playing, man. <laughs> How you Let's go. Lefty. Um, it's possible. Anything's possible. 100%, man. Everything. You got to follow your dream, man. 100%. Stop, stop. You got to speak it into existence. And a big thing is uh, energy. Mm-hmm. Energy is a big thing. Where do you where do you feel like, um, like, you know, so the thing in L.A., like, L.A. rappers have a hard time of, like, breaking into the mainstream, right? Being like... Well, politics. It's the politics, that's why? Politics with a... Politics are different. Politics are different on uh, what you're saying, uh, but, uh, yeah, man, rapping blacks made rap. Mm-hmm. Blacks started rap. So a lot of homies back in the day, they do Chicano rap. That's cool. That's not going to go mainstream. Wow. The last dude to go mainstream was Little Rob. Now it's me. And OGZ, too. And Shoreline. OGZ? Yeah. Yeah, OGZ. But, like, just... I'm talking about... Yeah, OGZ, Beans, and, and, and Shoreline. Phoenix, Phoenix yeah. I'm talking about just really gang-banging, gutter-gutter. Yeah. Gutter, Sueño like, on my face. Yeah, I, I, feel like, I feel like what is happening now with a lot of the new Latino... Um, uh, artists like they have good reference points like you mentioned is someone like Dr. Dre and you know you probably listen to a whole bunch of other different things like Nipsey and all these different things like what you guys look to RJ RJ like G Perico G Perico like the artists you guys look to like they they some cool ass niggas so I think it definitely influenced y'all they guys. embrace me yeah they also embrace you too RJ bro. embraces the shit out of me shout out RJ we got a video when we got a video RJ we shut him down the 6th street bridge Oh, that's hard. You know the dude that filmed the Hustle and Motivate? Mm-hmm. You see that movie? Yeah, yeah. It's a movie. It's Nipsey with Lauren London. They robbed the bank. He's on the freeway like that. Mm-hmm. On the Sixth Street Bridge. The same dudes that shot his video, they're doing my video. You mean RJ robbing the bank? They shooting on Sixth Street Bridge, cop running cop cars, helicopters. Mm-hmm. RJ's driving, I'm busting at the Hudas. That's the video. That's, that's hard. my best friend. That's hard. That's the number three song in all LA. Who's in front of me? Schoolboy Q, 310 hey, Haiti Baby, and uh, I got the number three song in all Los Angeles County. How does that make you feel, like, getting, you know, this recognition? Bad. Because I should be number one. As you should. You should definitely feel that way. The game ain't over yet. Who is there to be feel. happy about, you know? Who was the most, like, famous artist that reached out to you that you were surprised by? Solis. Changed my life, man. He did. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't do nothing. Him. Mm. Superstar in the cut. Him, man. He's just a... Uh, man, probably a... Uh, RJ. Maybe a... Uh, RJ. Yeah. RJ really helped me out. He helped me out a lot. And and, and look... You know, he also, shows me love. It's not fake love. He showed me love. For sure. That's good. Chito Ranas. Chito Flames. I'm at Chico. I talked to him from the label. He popping the houses on lane. Maybe, um, let me really think. Let me really think how to, damn, they think about my DMs. Everybody's in there. Bravo, Jab Bands, um, Phoenix Flexing. Oh, Jeezy reached out. That'll be hard. I feel he like already reached out. He's D Baby. That, shout out D-Baby, too. Shout That's out OGZ, shout hey, out D-Baby, you know those are my guys. I have to think about it, D-Baby's my dog. Cool ass nigga, I fuck with D-Baby. We're going to Houston next week. D-Baby's my motherfucking dog. Huh, D-Baby love me. I love D-Baby, too. Everything he doing, he's just his own lane. Yeah, he doing his thing for sure. So when you're saying every artist, I'm thinking about L.A., but period? Yeah, D-Baby. He was supposed to pull me out to Rolling now. Mm. I was supposed to perform, but I had just did a video that day and an interview, and I was, whoa, this rappy shit is hard, but yeah, D-Baby, we talking to DM. If I could turn my phone on right now, I'll show you, man. So, you know, you're the hottest artist in L.A. right now, um, 2024, Lefty, Lefty Gunplay. I would think so. Um, but Peso's out. Peso's, Peso's Chico out, Chico is out. R3, the chili man, he from L.A., though. He fucking him up. You know what I'm saying? Other artists, but ain't nobody seen me view for view. I dropped the song, Drummer Boy Hot, with Drummer Boy. We got half a million views in 10 days mm. on YouTube. YouTube is really what I trip on. 
That's where I get my natural high off of is YouTube beating everybody. Is That's it big, what makes me want to keep on with the rap is to fuck, fuck all these other rappers. I don't want to come in second. I don't want to be in first. By the end of the year, Haunch Management, which is D-Baby's manager, Solis, with them we're talking, Solis believes, so does Haunch Management, so do all the promoting labels, shout out to No Label and all them, Nationwide all them. They believe that by the end of the year, I'll be getting fifty to 40000 a show, mm. which is $40,000, 50000 in 30 minutes. That's a bag. It's a big bag. But you know what you got to do? You got to stay stiff. But you cannot stay stiff if you really not like that. If you're not a joint, you don't got it. I know I got it all, across, all, all around the cross board, but you got to stay stiff. I got five thousand for sure. What what do you what do you feel like you as an artist need to improve on? Like something you feel like I gotta do better. Discipline. Discipline. In what ways? Like just in general, or just learn how to manage my money. Just learn how to how to uh, balance the fame. Mm. Balancing my fame. I'm adjusting to it right now. Adjusting to the fame. From being a game man, you hear my phone look. Yeah. This is going crazy right now, you hear it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going hey, watch, hold on. No, we good. We Gucci game. I'm going to show you this right now. The next question, watch. I got you. Answer any of them. Watch this one right here. We good? Let's see what it says. Mm -hmm. Let's see right here, look. All right? All right? Like this. Like this. Let's go sit on top. Yeah, man, it's time for you to get an iPhone, brother. I wanted to show you that I got a hundred messages. You know, I was gonna ask you about that. A hundred comments, a hundred. Look, see, look. So right, did you refresh it? No, it's still refreshing. So constant. Watch right, it like this, and I'll be going through it. Mm -hmm. We're good. This part of it. Watch. Right, let me see this. It's your PCS fuck man show. I'm gonna go get me an iPhone right now. I'm feeling it now. Here we go. Let me see. Lefty. I went up 2,000 followers in the past three uh, hours. So 2,000 followers in the past three hours? Yeah, I'm on 143,000. I was in Compton, look, yesterday. I seen that. Shout out Hop Out. Me and Hop Out. Hope he makes a comeback. He will. I really believe in that guy. Let's see this one. Who's that? Me and Phoenix. I see. Performance. That shit gonna be hard. He gonna call me last night though. Watch this way. Look. He gonna be mad. He called me, but I wasn't feeling good, man. I didn't answer. Watch, I'm gonna let you see it yourself. Look. Here we go. I'm gonna let you, you look at you look at these. I'm gonna let you look at them yourself. Home was. This for you. Messages? Okay, here we go. General. I put the thing through in general. Scroll down. Scroll down and look. Hold on, keep scrolling now. Read the names. Who's that? You can click whatever you want. Click them. I want you to click them and back, spin back. Click them. Click on them and scroll up. Yeah, mad see people hit up, up. Who. who hit up who? I never paid for a feature in my life. Got mad people hitting you up, brother. Who's going? I see, I see, I see, I see. Everybody. Yeah, man, the city's fucking with you, bro. Everybody. The city's fucking with you. Everybody. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at this one. P Killer, Ralphie the Plug, Young Drummer Boy, Swifty Blue, Reverie, okay, Phoenix Flexin, Fat Wapo, D Baby, Munchie from Inglewood, Chad Bands, Lil Vade, Roddy Rags, Crook One, Lil Maru, Jeff Vaughn, Capone, Go Get a KB, RJ, Joe O'Madden, Peso, Lil Weirdo, Johnny Sipes, Treyway Six, Hidden J3, Chito Ranas, Zoe Sama, Reem Riches, CML the Heaviest, Lavish D, Dave Dollar, TC4, Jenny69, OGZ, CNG, Hold on, D Dub Flame, True Car, Savvy 3, Bravo the Bag Chaser, TZ, 
bitch, I'm a dog. Straight K9, Sean F, mm. Mosh Pharrell, K Bands, KIA Bands. Okay, that's one. Yellow Hill, that's one. G Perico, Doggy Style. Hold it's up. It's everybody, man. High Tone, wait up, that's one, man. Sad Boy Local, Trouble Kid, Back on Fig. Hold up, that's it. Everybody. I got well, a song yo. with all of them. I got a song with all of them. We're just lagging <laughs> it. Yeah. Well, Lefty, we usually do this to close. Sorry, it. sorry, I fucked up. I had a flex. Nah, you're good, you're good. I'm famous. <laughs> well, we usually do this to close it out and everything. What's your message for our generation? No, my, my, my message to the youth is, you know what? To everybody in general, you're beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Strive to be the best you can be. Um, insecurities is crazy. Um, the baddest bitches are the most insecure ones. Put yourself first. First impressions is everything. If it is to be, it's up to me. Some do, some don't. Some do want to listen, some don't. This is like a self-help book. It's my opinion to try to help somebody else out. If it pertains to them and it entertains them and it helps them, then that's good. But this is what helped me. It might not help them. Be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy the moment. Um, be humble. Don't be an asshole. Eye contact. You know what I'm saying? Know who you are. Find yourself. Drop everything. Don't let social media be what it is and chase your dream and go get it. And uh, money makes the world go around. That's it. Love, bro. Appreciate you. OTR, Bowling Superstar, the best label, too.